Hey everybody, this is Kyle with All Things Automotive. Today we have a 2014 Mini Cooper Countryman S All 4. It is a two owner, uh, no accident, clean auto history uh, unit with uh, 38,000 miles on it. So I'm just gonna give a quick walk around here. We'll go over features, benefits, and um, some blemishes at the end. Because here at All Things Automotive, we wanna be as honest and upfront as possible the whole time. We don't want you to have any false expectations when you come in. We want you to know what you're coming in on to look at. So. I'm just going to try to be as honest as I can in this video. Uh, everybody's uh, uh, ideas of blemishes is pretty different. Blemishes is pretty different, so I'm going to try to show you all the ones. Um, but I might miss a couple if you're more particular than I am, or I might point out stuff and you say that's not even a blemish if you're less particular than I am. So we'll go from there. I apologize for the lighting. We're doing our best We're trying to fight daylight. We don't have lighting in this building yet. Uh, it's under remodel, so. But as you can see, I don't know if you can tell, it might look black, but it's actually a, a deep blue. So, actually it might be black. I, I see it as a deep blue, but I can't tell if that's because of the reflections in here. No, it's definitely deep blue. Okay, cool. So, there it is. We're gonna go ahead and hop inside. I'll give you some of the features. It is a heated leather seats with a sunroof. Uh, there's a sunroof on top, dual panel roof. Um, uh, Bluetooth. Um, what else we got? We got some other fun stuff in here. Bluetooth, USB, auxiliary connection. Um, actually pretty spacious for, uh, for for being a Mini Cooper, I think. Uh, it is the all-countryman though, so that makes it a little bigger. Uh, to get the hood up, or to get the trunk up, push and lift the Mini symbol. There's your backspace, plenty of room. Uh, truthfully, I really like this car. I snowboard a lot and mountain bike and I don't like, and I don't, usually don't have a lot of people with me, usually just my fiance. And uh, so now I never really need a back seat, so this would be perfect for me actually, to just to fold the back seats down and go and kind of have it as like a, just a smaller, really small SUV that gets better gas mileage. So um, we're gonna go ahead and just kind of roll through on the inside. I'm gonna show you the keys, because if you are a non-Mini Cooper person uh, and you've never seen a key before, they're pretty interesting. There it is. The Mini Cooper key, it's a circle and it slides in and it's pretty awesome and I like it. Uh, also, I wanted to point this out, uh, I forgot to, but I meant I noticed it and wanted to mention it. Um, okay, so the circles in the back, everyone knows uh, Mini Coopers are famous for their circles, their logo is a circle, they try to do everything in circles, but this particular design layout was actually uh, patented, not patented, but originally designed by uh, West Coast Customs. Uh, owner's wife uh ryan freelinghouse's wife um, she actually came up with that when she did a custom build for herself uh with the mini cooper and that's she wanted to incorporate the circles and that's the design she came up with so now they're actually putting in some of the mini cooper so i just thought that was really cool i don't know if you're a fan of the show but uh if you're a general car enthusiast and you like the show uh, i thought that was pretty cool so uh, we got a six six speaker sound system in here um for uh i'm gonna assume I'm not sure what size the speakers are. Uh, definitely bigger in the back than they are up front. But we have speakers up here and in that corner, and then the two in the back, and we have tweeters uh, in the both both sides up front. Um, before I put this in and start stinging like crazy, uh, I want to just show you just kind of generally. Here's all your steering wheel controls. Uh, this is your phone uh, Bluetooth audio control. Uh, this is your cruise control. You have paddle shifters up and down. Uh, RPMs are right in front of you. Uh, over here in the middle is your speedometer and overall radio control. You'll see it come up uh, right along here. And when I turn it on, you'll see a little glow in the middle. This is your uh, e-brake for drifting. Just kidding. Um, but there's your, your e-brake. This flips up in the middle. Plenty of room. Flips back down. Uh, USB and uh, auxiliary are down here. Uh, for charging purposes, you have a 12 volt line here and uh, another uh, little storage compartment down below. So you take this. Stick it in here beside, kind of give it a pop it in, everything lights up, and you just push it to start. So, as you can see, radio power on mode, radio works. Oh, there you go, that was loud. Sorry about that. Uh, menu tuning kind of overall settings are in there. Um, uh, radio or uh, CD, I apologize. CD, um, here's your overall climate control, heated seats for the front, right there. Um, trash control off sport mode and then you have kind of all of your put that up there there we go you can kind of see it in the mirror um all your switches and stuff for all your lights and everything uh up there like a like a fighter pilot so i thought that was really cool and then to get the key out let me go here 
get the key out, you push it, and it pulls right back out. So it has to be like pushed into its release, and then it pulls back out. So really cool um, overall design. Sorry about that. Drop the keys, uh, but I'm leaving them in there, so no worries. Uh, a couple small marks that I found um, while I was going over it. We have a little bit of a a little paint right here. Might rub out. I can't really tell. It's very very minor. Um, right there and right here. Um, overall with the hood, that's really it that I found on the hood. Um, overall front bumper, um, there's nothing that I could see when I was going around it the first time. Just kind of giving myself a double check here as well. Um, I'm just kind of four matching Continental tires, um, which is really nice. Mini Cooper wheels with good color. No marks or anything really back to side here. Um, overall, I would consider this thing to be a nine out of 10 condition. Sorry about the sniffling, I'm a little sick, but it's flu season, so. Not on the flu, I just have a little cold. Okay, back here on the bumper, I knew there was a couple. Back here on the bumper, you have a couple very minor dings um, and scratches, just right here mainly. I'm sure you can see it in the video because the sun's hitting it, but. That's really it overall for the back here too. Um, this side, I don't think there was anything. A uh, little chip on the wheel here. I don't know if you can see that right there. That's it on that one. Nothing on the side. That's really it. So, uh, oh. Yeah, it looks like we might have a little, a little rub right in here. So. Yep, other than that, that is it. Overall, really good shape. Um, and I would say this is gonna make somebody a really, really nice car. Uh, they get good gas mileage, plenty of storage. <coughs> really fun little cars overall, good reliability. My goodness, get back in focus. There we go. Sorry about that, it's been out of focus for a while, I think. But anyway, yep, that's our Mini Cooper. Again, it's 2014. This is Kyle with All Things Automotive. If you wanna stop in or have questions, uh, our hours of operation are Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, 8.30 to 7, Wednesday and Friday, 8.30 to 5, Saturdays, 8.30 to 2. Be on the lookout because we are going to be extending our hours. And if you want to call in, uh, go ahead and just call in 717-485-4224. That number can be found on the website. And uh, the extension for sales is 1502. You can ask for anybody because here at All Things Automotive, we are not paid individual commissions. We work as a team, and we are more than happy to help you in any way we can. So uh, just give us a call, and we hope you like this vehicle, and we look forward to seeing you soon.